punches are, well, they've been opponents. Well, last year, remember, they went one-on-one -on -one to a double count-out and nearly had a riot before a battle royale. And even before that, during each man's reign as CSW champion, scored a win over the other. Did the official just help Jazz take off his pants? I hope not. I hope not. This official's already been yeah, he's literally beat. ripped to shreds at the hands of the Rage. Kevin Ultra is one of the toughest dudes in the entire world, so I'm glad that he's the referee for this match. Because the physicality between these two guys, tag team partners, and occasionally, opponents, you need a referee who can withstand a good beat. So you never know, especially with Acid Jazz. You know, he hasn't been very gentlemanly at times. Although Marche Rocket, his gentlemanly attitude has, you know, kind of been parlayed in his career. Well, what did you make that, out of the entrances? Acid Jazz telling Jake Andrews, disappear, get out of my way, you're not a tag team champion. You don't even deserve to be in my, in my light. It's disgusting, if you ask me. For 120 days, they've been the tag team champion. How about Marche after his match with Brubaker and that pull apart brawl? Is he 100% going into this? I think Marche is all day 100%. He has a former Triple Crown holder of all CSW gold, current tag team champion. And he complains about it. He complains about it because he thinks he deserves better. He wants to be on flyers. He wants the main event player position. And he thinks Jake is holding him back. And he thinks that this is a catastrophe. That it's a chain reaction that he isn't in the main event scene and that he has to be in lesser matches against lesser known opponents. Don't you think Marche Rocket is about as good as you're going to get? Absolutely. And he called him a chump. He just called him a chump. I heard it. Triple threat between Jake Marche and Jazz and May. In that match, Jazz, I believe, lost that match. Mar I believe Jake so Andrews retained the title. There was a double count out in January last year. And there's a lot of bickering between these two in the past, and they've interfered in one another's matches. There's just been a lot of bad news between the two. It's the sliced chocolate of Ashley Jazz, the chocolate mist, the weapon of Jazz destruction versus the M80 of Marcy Rocket. And the power slam. That dude comes out of nowhere with that power slam. These two have history, he said. Hit from the jump. Soul touches. The soul touches were arguably one of the top teams in all of the Midwest, the East Coast, and the for a world. long time. The world. The soul touches couldn't see eye to eye. They broke up. They had other plans. See Red did his best to keep them together and make everything work as best he could. He and Faith did a phenomenal job. Just like Paul Ellery had to take care of all the bickering between the Road Warriors themselves, between Animal and Hawk over the years. You know, it was a common happening among, you know, not just tag teams, but family members. You know, people all know when you have brothers and sisters and siblings and everything. You husbands and wives, well, I won't even go there. You know what I mean. The woman is always right. I'll just say that. This is a hot rivalry stand with a lot of controversy. This is a competitive sport where both of these men have been at each other's throats at times. But sometimes when your brother's in the ring as a team, you're worst enemies when it comes to winning the bigger. Yes, indeed. You're so right. You're so right. Former Impact Wrestling star, one of the most explosive heavyweights and athletes in the world. A lot of M80 variations and new movesets. And he changes and gets better with time. Great physical training and preparation Marche brings to the ring. He's flexible. Jazz a little overconfident, Stan. He's giving up about 
about 60 pounds to Marche Rocket, and maybe even maybe even 60 inches, maybe an entire foot in terms of height. His arm is like three feet long. And Stan, I cannot mention this enough. The Metro Division, 10 minute time limit. So they don't have a lot of time to mess around. We can see Marche in back to back time limit draw. Whoa. Do these men even know this? They've got to know this. These are intelligent athletes. These are intelligent superstars. These men are teachers. They've Test the strength now that Marche's on a knee. He's telling him to get up. He got him in the one arm test of strength. He's threatening to leave now. Oh, he's not letting him leave. He tried to leave. Like he threatened. But he's not letting him leave. Division championship on the line. At one time, Jazz held the title for seemingly forever. Nobody could beat him. As a matter of fact, he had to be stripped of the title. Indeed. Nobody actually took that title away from him until it was stripped from him in the first place. Test of strength. Marche is overpowered, Jazz. As now he's down on his knees. And he's screaming, Stan. He's screaming in horrible pain, man. Jazz climbing the ropes backwards. That's the longest reigning Metro Division champion in history going up against the current Metro Division champion in Marche Rock. And you're right. It was July 15, 2015 that he was stripped of the title on a technicality because he was a dual champion the second time in his career as he was also the CSW heavyweight champion and he won that title. Interjecting himself between Mil wow. Millie and Bob Richardson defending the title against Steve Bonds, using the taste of gold to interject himself, turning that match into a three way and winning the title. Well, Jazz has used that opportunity, a taste of gold, to win himself CSW Heavyweight Championship, much like Marche, right? You're right, January 27th, the so in many the ways. Hanging and Bang and Gardens beating Austin Roberts, Austin Roberts, and won the title for Millie and Bob Richardson. In many ways, these two have had careers that have mirrored one another. Very much so. Very much. Where's Marche going to rocket launch Jazz now? I'm speechless. Oh, he spiked him down. Right on the mat. Face first. Badly. Was this out of a Looney Tunes cartoon? Marche is still the champion, so Marche is in no hurry in this situation. He tried to get an M80 on him, but it didn't work. There it was a slimy Slice chocolate potentially on the way. Nope. Averted. The M80 didn't work. He had a slice chocolate. Went to Jazz Destruction. Counted it to an M80. Both men are down. Caught him off guard as he was laughing. And suddenly the two picked it into overdrive for a moment, Stan. There's no way. 
Wait, what is the decision? decision? He couldn't have been a part of this. Patrick was planted on him. Willie knew what he was doing. Willie knows these men and he knows what he's doing. footage again knowing that Jake Andrews the partner that he's been tormenting and taunting and besmirching for 120 days knowing that this partner came to his defense